Greetings and salutations. It is Monday, August 8th, and we are starting a new series today. We are going to play Long Live the Queen. So I've been playing this a lot over the last couple weeks. Uh, last, actually, no, I'm going to say not even the last week, like the last few days, and I've just become obsessed with it. So I figured I will play through a session of this and we'll just see how far we can get and what happens. So I'm going to completely play this as a newbie. I'm not going to try and remember what I'm supposed to do for various things and we're just going to go with it. So Long Live the Queen is unlike any game really that I've ever played before so I'm really excited. You'll notice that you do not get to see my face. Um, this is for a few reasons. One, I'm feeling really lazy this week and I, especially today on Monday um, after a crazy weekend, so I am not wearing anything special. I have not done my hair. I barely washed my face. I'm just the casualest of casuals today. So you're going to instead watch this screen. You'll still hear my voice though. Sorry, not much I can do about that. All right, so let's play. So we're going to start the game. We're almost home. Your room is just the way you left it. I know it's hard to leave your school and all your friends, but I've arranged the best possible tutors for every subject. You'll have to work hard this year to prepare yourself before your 15th birthday, but I know you can do it. You'll learn quickly, and you'll make a wonderful queen. It's what your mother would have wanted. This is not what mother would have wanted. She wouldn't have wanted to die and leave me. No, she wouldn't, but sometimes bad things happen. We have to pick up and carry on. All of Nova depends on us, on you. <sighs> I will be here to guide you until your coronation, but the decisions you make are ultimately up to you. Come, your maids are waiting. So we're going to assume I've never played this before. Welcome to Long Live the Queen. If this is your first time playing, you should read this brief introduction to how the game works. So let's watch that. You will be controlling Elodie, the almost queen of Nova, as she tries to prepare for her coronation. To do that, she needs to take classes every week in order to raise her skills. The skills she learns will provide different choices in the ongoing plot. Learning the right skills can mean the difference between life and death. You also need to keep an eye on El Elodie's mood. With her mother's tragic death, Elodie is not very happy right now. The mood button will take you to the emotion screen for more details. So she is feeling slightly angry, very depressed, sorry, slightly afraid, very depressed, not really willful or yielding and not really pressured or lonely. She's feeling both afraid and depressed, but her strongest emotion is depressed. If she becomes more cheerful to cancel out the action, the depression, her strongest emotion would then be afraid. Elodie's current mood affects her ability to learn. It will give her a bonus to some skills and a penalty to others. Let's take a look at the skills screen now. Skills are broken into four main categories. So we have social, we have physical, we have intellectual, and then mystical is down here, which is covered currently. Inside these categories are skill sets, groups of three related skills. You start with zero in all skills. Every week, Elodie can study two skills. Normally, she earns two points a skill for every weekday she studies. So if she studies history, she would earn two points for five days, which gives you 10 points. Because she's depressed, she has a minus two to the social skill set, conversation. She doesn't feel like talking to people right now. If she studies conversation, she will earn two minus two points per day. That is zero points, yay math. However, she has a plus one to the expression skill set. If she studies one of the expression skills, she will earn two plus one points per day, which means three points a day, 15 points for the week. Oh, math. If you study a skill you have a penalty for, you could be wasting your time and not learning everything. If you study a skill you have bonuses for, you will learn much faster than normal. All of these bonuses and penalties will change when Elodie's mood changes. She can also gain bonuses to skills by studying related skills. Check the skills screen every week to see your current bonuses. Once you know your mood, skills, bonuses, and penalties, you are ready to choose your classes for the week. The classes screen breaks down, by sk breaks down skill sets by category for your morning and evening classes. When you select a skill set, the three options in that set will appear on the right side of the screen, right here and right here for afternoon. Choose a class option for both morning and evening classes. Sorry, evening, not afternoon. Then click the Done button, which will appear in the lower right-hand corner. As you play through the story, you will sometimes see feedback bubbles appearing over the text. These tell you what's happening behind the scenes. Bubbles like this will show when Elodie's mood is being altered by events. Bubbles like this will show when a story is changing based on what skills you've learned so far. If the test fails, there is some option being missed because she doesn't have enough points in that skill yet. The feedback is very helpful in figuring out different options to try, but if you don't want to see it, you can turn the bubbles off in the preferences menu. Now get ready to become a queen. All right, so we are in week one, and our bonuses right now are to, we are depressed, so our bonuses are to expression and animal handling. Hmm. I think 
we should do expression for now. Let's do expression. So we'll go to classes and we'll do decoration and instrument. So decoration, drawing, painting, arranging flowers and dressing well, instrument, skill with musical instruments such as the harp and flute. So, oh, I missed one. Ha, huh, sorry. So we learned something. I'm sorry. I completely forgot that I was not playing by myself. So for our afternoon classes, we tap out chiming dryads on the glockenspiel, learning the basics of harmony and rhythm. I will make sure I reread the other one. What's all that noise outside? Who's there? Oh, it's my cousins and my aunt and uncle. Darling, we were so terribly sorry to hear about your mother, Fidelia. Thank you. You look well, niece. Hi, Lodi. Hi, Lottie. I haven't seen you in ages. Will you be staying long? Yep. Mommy said we'd be here all month. Maybe we'll have some time to talk later. Oh, I'm feeling a bit more happy. That's good. All right, so I can talk to my cousins. I can talk to my father. And I can do all these things. So these affect mood. So if I attend court, I will get feel more yielding, depressed, and pressured. Let's talk to my cousins. That seems like a good idea. I love this room. It's so much bigger than mine back home. We should visit more often. It's awful that the only time I get to see you is something like this. I know your brother and sister are still too young, but why haven't you come to school? My mother worries about me. She doesn't think anywhere but home is safe. I understand. I'm probably not going to be allowed to leave this castle until my birthday, but at least we can have fun together here. All right, so our mood has changed. What are our skills for? Agility and faith. Okay. So I think faith seems like a good idea. Let's, actually, let's do some reflexes and some lore. That seems like a good idea. So agility, reflexes, faith, lore, done. All right, your teacher walks around you, prodding a finger at you slowly in order to train you in blocking these touches without triggering fear or faster breathing. All right. Only a lumen can channel magic, and only with the help of an attuned crystal. The ability to control a crystal seems to be inherited, so crystals can be passed from parent to child upon the lumen's death. All right, that sounds like fun. What's the commotion outside, father? What's going on? I have come to pay my respects in honor of your mother. Mother, mother, oh my lord. You have no respect or honor. It's because of you and your powers that my wife is dead. What? I am a lumen, as was she, and every lumen I am willing to give my and like every lumen, I am willing to give my life if necessary to protect our domain. Your line has been traitors for 200 years. I won't have you corrupting my daughter. That is for the crown princess to decide. Elodie, your mother trusted me, and I have much to teach you. Hmm. Send her away arrested. Let's let her stay. Magic seems like a good idea. I want to hear what she has to say. She stays. As you wish. All right, well, let's talk to the new lady. What is it you wanted to teach me? First, I need to know if you have your mother's crystal. A lumen crystal? No. The royal crystal has been passed down from ruler to ruler for generations. It belongs to you now, except that the king may be keeping it from you. Do you have a crystal? Of course. She holds out her hands, light flickers above her bosom, and then with a shower of sparkles, something takes shape. That's pretty. You reach out to touch it, and it dissolves away into nothing. Oh, it belongs to me. No one can take it from me until I die. You need to find the crystal that belongs to you. Alright, still agility and faith, so let's keep going with those, I think. You, repeat, you practice solo tennis, hitting a ball against the wall repeatedly in order to train your hand and eye to react. I can now play sports on the weekends. Oh, that's exciting. Long, long ago, the continent of Borealis was ruled over by a single witch king until a line, rev, rival line of lumens challenged for the crown. The resulting war went on for a hundred years with powerful spells that damaged the land so badly that even now, no plants will grow. He loves me, he loves me not. Lottie, do you have a boyfriend? Not really, I just like to play with the flowers. All of a sudden, the Duchess of Urchel, that's Juliana, rushes into the garden and points a sword at you. No, not at you, at your feet. Princess, don't move. Okay, well, let's hold still. Oh, failed my composure check. You want to hold still, but you don't have the composure to hold your position without peeking. You look down where her sword is pointing. There's a snake in the grass. You can't help it, you squeak and jump back. The snake tenses and prepares to strike. No! 
Their cousin pushes you aside and the snake's fangs sink into her leg. Lottie! Too late, Juliana swings her sword and cuts off the snake's head. What is going on out here? Your daughter's been bitten by a milk viper. They're poisonous. Get an herbalist right away. I will treat my daughter. I certainly can't trust anyone here to keep her safe. I'm sorry. I don't feel good. We will be returning home to Merva immediately. Your aunt has a point. Milk vipers are not native to this area. That snake should never have been here. Someone may have tried to kill you. Will Charlotte be okay? I don't know.